The Prophet ﷺ, he tells us a very interesting story, and this story is narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu in Sahih Muslim, that one day there was a man walking out in the wilderness. And as he's walking out in the wilderness, he looks up and he notices that there's a cloud all by itself. Then he hears a voice coming from that cloud, and the voice is saying, Isqi hadiqata fulan. Go ahead and nourish the, the garden of so-and-so. Irrigate the garden of so-and-so. So he says, I followed this cloud and I saw that it, it stopped at a certain area, then all of a sudden it started to pour down rain. And he said, what's interesting about this is that the water came down on sort of a flat surface, but at the same time, it bounced off of that flat surface and it, it came into the stream, it formed the stream. And as he followed that stream down, he saw a man with his hatchet channeling the water into the different parts of his garden to make sure that each part of his garden got what it was supposed to get in regards to its portion. So he said, I went to the man and I asked the man, you know, what's your name? And he said, my name is so-and-so. So he said, subhanAllah, he said, why are you asking? He said, because that's the same name that I heard from the cloud. And he told that man the story and he asked that man, he said, what do you do with your money? What do you do with this water? What do you do with your garden? And the man said, he said, I look to see what comes out of it. And he said, I give in charity a third of it. Then, He said, me and my family, we eat from a third of it. Then I take the last third, I put it back into the garden. Meaning what? I reinvest one third of it. We can take so many lessons from this. Number one, that there is no sustenance that will come to you without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not a dollar in your bank account or in your piggy bank even when you're younger. Not a single drop of rain, not a single leaf will fall from a tree. Nothing will come to you except by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your risk, your sustenance is written down and it will come to you in ways that you don't even know. And it will come to you from, from avenues that you possibly don't even recognize. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue to give risk to a person, will continue to give sustenance to a person who is doing good. Another thing that we see is that this person, you know, didn't really have much. It wasn't that this man had this huge garden, he wasn't a multi-millionaire, because traditionally when we talk about charity, you might be thinking to yourself, you know, I only make a few hundred dollars, you know, and, and I'm still going to school, I'm not doing much. You might be thinking to yourself, well, how does this really apply to me? Because we think that charity only applies to multi-millionaires and people that are, you know, it's just like everyone looks at the doctor and the fundraiser and sees how much the doctor is going to give. Right? And so we have to have these gory images and this sensationalism or these really fancy masajid, you know, beautiful videos with, with nasheeds in the background and sometimes, you know, all kinds of things in the background and golden minarets so that a person could be motivated to give. So it kind of becomes random charity from rich people and you need to get it out from, you know, these rich people. But this man, obviously, we can take from this hadith, he's a simple man. But at the same time, with his giving, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to give to him as he goes forward in life, and his investment continues to grow. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses him as he says in the hadith Qudsi, Ya ibn Adam, O son of Adam, give and I will give to you. And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught, Man nam yashkur bil qaleel, whoever does, is not grateful with, with small things, will not be grateful with major things. So you know what, if you're, if you're only making $20,000 a year, and you're not grateful with that, you're not going to be grateful when you make a quarter million dollars a year, when you make $250,000 a year. That's not the point here of generosity. The point is, is that any time something good happens to you, you give something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and at the same time, you're disciplined with your money, you invest it, right? This hadith is teaching us that it's sunnah, to invest. It's sunnah to build for your future in this world as well and to not be reckless with your money. This man is incredibly disciplined. So being disciplined with our finances and the Prophet said in the hadith in Abu Dawood that no one should receive a gift except that he gives a portion of that gift for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whether it's a gift, whether it's an increase in your salary, whether you just got admitted into a really good program in school or you know in college, make sure that you have a consistent charity that's coming out of your income, no matter how small it is, every single day of your life, because charity is due upon you every day, and at the same time, when anything good happens to you, or any increase comes in your life, make sure you have a set portion to give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that will keep you removed from greed, even as you move forward, and as you grow into your careers, and as you become more successful in the night ta'ala, and we ask Allah to grant us success, in this world and the next, and to make us people of generous hearts. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.